Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Uh, today I've got to go to West Hamilton Mall to meet a customer for a local pickup for a Bricklink order. And I'm more than happy to do that because it's by the Lego store. So it's a forced trip, I swear. I, I didn't plan it, I swear. But we're gonna be going to the uh, Lego store today. Also, we're gonna be checking out uh, Toys R Us and a few other stores along the way to see if there's any deals on Lego as I'm always scouting out some deals. And I've got a set in mind as well. Uh, yeah, so today we're heading out. Actually, Jose and I, we're going to grab some brunch and then we're going to uh, meet up with uh, Kevin and we're also uh, going to meet up with a Bricklink customer and go to a few uh, shopping locations. So I'm uh, really excited about that. So let's roll on out and do some Lego shopping. Woohoo! All right, so we're here and we're looking at the pick a brick wall here in West Simmons Mall. That's where we're going to start our little tour here. And you know what I found? One by six dark stone gray plates. That can be very helpful when it comes to uh, ballasting our train track. Also, I found these rims right here. We were building the go-kart track the other day and we had the chassis off the pick a brick wall, but we don't have any of the rims and tires to go on those chassis. However, they only have the rims here. They do not have tires or the rubber themselves, so. <laughs> I don't know if I should get any of those. Plus, we were at Cabins the other day and we found some that's going to be enough to accommodate. I think it was seven go karts, so I think we're good there. Also, we got some one by three light stone gray. Not much new since the last time I was here. I would like to get some slopes like this and actually pair them up with some red slopes, and then we could create some berms or bumpers or turns going around the go kart track. That would be really good. But other than that, I don't know if I should get some of these dark stone gray one by sixes. Also, I like the uh, look of these tan one by twos, etc. There's a lot of stuff on here that we could get. Let me think about it. So I ended up getting two cups. I got one cup of the one by sixes because I think I'm going to be able to use those uh, either to make flooring. Uh, so I have a bunch of four by four and also four by six and those will act as sort of cross beams for those. Also, I got a half a cup of the one by two tan. And then I also got for my extra scoop on the first cup, I got an extra scoop of one by two dark stone grays. I don't know, I just find myself always looking for those and we're building mocks and I keep running out of them. And in addition to that half scoop, I got a half scoop of dark stone gray one by one because we're doing all that rock work around the Ninjago area and uh, the rock work I like to base some of those slopes with one by ones just sort of fills in the gap nicely and I had a lot of them but I actually started running out recently and for my extra scoop in that cup I'm going to get some of these fence elements right here. Those might be cool for the amusement park. So this is the biggest surprise that we have uh, here today. We've got assembly square in stock. Crazy. Apparently that's the last two they have. I'm gonna leave it here for other people who don't have assembly square. So nothing heavy here today guys. I got two cups and also I'm gonna get three blue base plates. I need nine for the amusement park, uh, Lazy River, and also to accommodate the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. I got six from Kevin the other day, and here's the additional three. So everybody, I got one small bag today full of awesome Lego pieces. Also, three blue plates. But like I said, this isn't the only stop that we're going to be doing today. We're also going to be going to a few other stores that sell Lego. Probably that's going to be Walmart and Toys R Us. And I know that Toys R Us actually has some deals on right now. 15% uh, off some certain themes and I'm pretty sure we're gonna find something there as well. So the uh, wife and I just finished eating at the old Denny's here. I uh, got ourselves a midday lumberjack slam there. Got a couple pancakes, some, uh, some sausage and some bacon and some more great stuff in us there. Holy smokes, that's a loud truck. But uh, now we're gonna be heading out to the uh, Toys R Us here to scope out some of the deals and sales and I'm pretty excited. All right, everybody, we have arrived at Toys R Us. That's some sweet looking wheels right there. Check that out. That'd be Jose's, right? And then this would be mine right here. Woo! So here in the uh, Lego aisle, 
There's actually a few different sales that are happening right now. And it's on Speed Champions, which you can see on this end cap here. And they're actually all 15% off. There's a few other sales on right now as well. So we got Ninjago and Speed Champions, 15% off, excludes items ending in eight or 94. So some of the things are gonna be excluded. I have all of these Speed Champion sets. The one that I don't have is the Mini Cooper. <laughs> and of course, that's the only one that I don't see here. But we could also save 15% on all of these Ninjago sets as well. Oof. It's actually a good price for the Empire Dra Dragon, which is a retired Lego set from what I remember. Somebody just uh, recognized my voice <laughs> and loved my channel. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Lego City stuff, no deals on Lego City today, but Ninjago is 15% off. Hmm. Not sure if we're gonna want anything. It was not an additional 15% off that uh, discounted Empire Dragon back there. We've got some Star Wars stuff here. And the other things that are currently on sale are Classic and Creator. So you could save on the Townhouse Pet Shop and Cafe, which we bought two of and modularized. Ooh. You could also save on uh, the camper van if you wanted, and we could. Uh, Maybe I should get another uh, holiday uh, camper van, say 15%. And then what we could do is we could build our lighthouse. I could build a double, doubled up lighthouse using my camper van. There's a thought. As we built the camper van, and what I could do is part that one out. And then I could build a double stacked lighthouse. It's an idea. It's not really a camper van, it's a caravan. But yeah, all of these are 15% off as well, essentially, other than the brand new stuff. Well, it's not really brand new at this point. I don't know why they wouldn't let it slide, but things like the beach house uh, wouldn't be included in that sale, but all the older stuff would be. I've got to give that some thought. I don't know if that's the style of lighthouse that we're looking to create for the Lego City. I don't know, it might be a little bit too basic. It is a square lighthouse, which I'm not really a huge fan of. I prefer mine to be a bit rounded. If you use some of those modified one by three bricks and give it a rounded shape on the, on the corners at least, that would probably be better. Honestly, the one thing that I was hoping to get was the Speed Champions uh, Mini Cooper set that we've been trying to find for quite some time because it's 15% off, but clearly they don't have any here at this Toys R Us. Luckily, there is some other Toys R Us's here in town and we'll probably end up going there to check those out. And I don't believe there's any deals here on Friends or uh, some of the Disney stuff either. Yeah, so not the site we were looking for here at this Toys R Us. I don't think I'm going to do that uh, lighthouse idea. I just, <laughs> I'm not really a fan of the, the square lighthouse. I think it's got to be somewhat rounded. And I'd rather order some pieces off Bricklink and sort of give it a more custom look than using the set instructions. Get some more city stuff behind us. Here, Advent Calendar is awesome. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, we're gonna head on out to another Toys R Us, maybe a Walmart as well. And I'm still on the fence about this whole pinata thing. I don't know if I should do it. I don't know where I would smash it. I don't know what I would put in it. Well, candy, of course, but I don't eat candy. So there's just a lot of questions of how I would do this. Where would I smash it? I don't know. Gotta give that some thought as well. Let's roll on out to our next destination. It's funny, we were right over there. And then I was like, well, wait a sec, Chapters is right there. So I literally just drove right over here and parked. And we're gonna check this out, see if there's anything retired in here. They actually have quite the little uh, selection of Lego here in Chapters, Indigo. It starts right over here. You got a little bit of uh, Friends, and a little bit of City, and a little bit of Super Mario. And then it continues over here where we have some more Friends stuff on this pod. Some Creator 3-in-1, some Dots some classic and three-in-one stuff also uh, a little bit of star wars jurassic world some more city stuff and essentially all the new stuff so essentially you know they're updating some of their inventory and i find this hard to believe but they have a huge selection of uh hidden side stuff if i saw the castle here i would probably get it but all this other stuff is trending pretty average and 
I don't know. I, I don't think I have the space to integrate any of that stuff into the Lego city. Got some Harry Potter, some Duplo, some Ninjago, etc. But nothing really uh, jumping out here and uh, showing itself to me, I guess. So yeah, I guess that's uh, it was worth a stop as it was right in the area here, but nothing overly exciting. Although this uh, ghost train and also the uh, haunted high school is pretty cool. And also we have the graveyards down there, all retired product. But I did some research and definitely not worth the pick up at this point. While we're out and about today, I have to uh, drop off some mail at Pack Mail. And look, Mastermind Toys. What a coincidence, perfect. I'm actually fairly surprised to see a grand piano here at Mastermind Toys. And hey, check it out. They got one ATST Raider in stock. Is the ATST Raider done? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes they have some killer sales here at uh, Mastermind Toys. I don't know if there's going to be any today or not. Doesn't look to be. Doesn't really seem to be anything that's popping out here at all. But maybe I should get that uh, ATST Raider. I just don't know. And their Speed Champ selection does not have that uh, Mini Cooper set that I'm looking for and put back on the shelf not too long ago. Check out this Ninjago book. That's pretty cool. Epic History of Lego. There's a caveman and the Sphinx. Pretty neat. Hmm. You see some Bowser's Castles, some at, -AT Walkers and the Ferrari Technic set up there. The question is, is do we get the ATST Raider today? Because it comes with Cara Dune, right? Probably going to be retired relatively soon. So I decided not to get it. I actually uh, looked on uh, Bricklink out of curiosity. And everybody is selling uh, the, Car the Cara Dune minifigures separately from the ATAT, or sorry, the ATST. So they're selling the ATST on its own and they're selling the Car or Cara Dune minifigure on its own. It's like, I don't even want to participate in that. Oh well, it is what it is. I got one at home for my collection and I'm, and I'm happy with that. Let's head on out to another uh, Toys R Us. Well, I guess I'm just kidding. Jose made me do it. All right, Toys R Us location number two. That's right by a Walmart. May as well check them both out. Okay, so looking for the DVOs, of course, uh, Ninjago. I still like the look of these mechs. Too much, too much, too little time. Ninjago pods on for 10 bucks, it looks like there. Oh, there's Speed Champs right here. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, that's a Lamborghini. There's where the Mini Cooper would be. 4888. Not in stock, hey? Okay. Uh oh. All sorts of Harry Potter stuff, of course. I feel like there's no shortage of Harry Potter every time I I look at the particular racks with those products. And of course some mega constructs here. I still want that big Pelican inbound for the new uh, Halo Infinite game. And I still want to play that new Halo Infinite game whenever it's released. Hey, if you wanted to get a Mr. Ray and a piece of coral, might be the way to do it. 22 pieces in that little Lego City poly bag. Holy smokes, look at that shark. All classic. And also three in one sets are 15% off in this location as well. I think one of the best three-in-one sets I've ever built is this one here. Hmm, 15% off. It might be worth it to build that little, that little uh, shack there, eh? Open back. Look at it, it looks really good from the front. Hmm, that does look pretty good. Where would I put it though? 
1260 pieces, 15% off. I don't know, that might be pretty cool. I've got this uh, space in the city that it might look pretty neat, but I wanted to move into more custom stuff. So I'm not sure about that. Got some hidden side stuff on sale here, or not on sale, at regular price. Actually, a few, a few things on sale there, I guess, but nothing crazy. And then some Duplo and Technic and whatnot there, along with uh, some superhero stuff right here. I actually saw this at the Lego store. I didn't show you guys, but I saw it built. It actually looked pretty cool. Not quite the scale that I'd be looking for, but... Oh, geez. No Mini Coopers. <laughs> I got a trick up my sleeve though. Kevin was here earlier and he actually put one on hold for me because it was the only one they had. <laughs> Remember when I was at Toys R Us in uh, Balzac, Alberta there and when you're on our little road trip and I put it away? Well, I'm glad I did because now I save 15% on this set right here. <laughs> I told you we have a trick up our sleeve. Yes, save 15% on it. Worth it. I don't think I'm going to get the uh, Pirate Ship 3-in-1 as much as I want to because we've just got a lot of parts and pieces to build to build with right now. And we've got a lot of mocks to build and we've got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm going to leave it for now. It's going to be around for quite some time and I'm sure it'll be on sale again in the near future as well. Now I'm just walking down to Walton's over here and we'll see if there's anything good here as well. Actually, I should put this in the car so they don't think I'm stealing. I didn't get a bag, so I'll put this away first. It really is like a hit and miss for me at Walmart. Sometimes I find like really good deals on like retired sets and stuff like that. Sometimes I find a whole lot of nothing. Just gonna search the aisles here. See if we can find anything good. Oh, yes. I'm just kidding. I'm looking at Lego right over here, I swear. All right, looking for rollback prices. What's this clearance tag? 39.86. Oh, that's not a deal. <laughs> Deceiving. Deceiving deal. ATSD Raider. Sorry, this item is out of stock. I, I honestly do think that they are um, going to be relatively hard to find. The Pirate Ship Adventure out of stock. But yeah, I think they're going to be relatively hard to find as we move into the future. I don't know if they're going to continue producing them or not. I know the actress did something wrong, but the character didn't do anything wrong. And the character is just going to be recasted, right? It's not like they're getting rid of the character. The character is being recasted, and I'm assuming the character will look the same relatively Close to the same, but still, they're probably gonna get rid of it. I don't really see anything here. I think there's some more on the other side though. Um, yeah, ATSD Raiders is the story in the Lego world right now though. Let's see if there's another aisle here. Got some Ninjago stuff smashed onto this thing here. X Wing Starfighter comes with a Stormtrooper and. R2-D2 and Luke Skywalker for $29. It was $39. Also the War Machine Buster for $39. It was $50. So there's a little bit of deals here on this end cap actually. It's a deal on a friend set here. It comes with a pretty cool looking pony actually. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. The horse trailer. Neat looking uh, Jeep there. Hmm. Is there any more in this aisle? Maybe. No, doesn't look like it. Maybe I'm gonna look for more sale aisles. $29. Three great looking minifigures. Hmm. I know it seems really weird because this here is a four plus set, but I know they're coming out with some new four plus sets in the very near future. I'm gonna pick up a couple. It's pretty cool. It comes with, you know, a Stormtrooper, R2-D2, Luke Skywalker, some trench run cannons, also a mini X-Wing. 
Maybe have an army of these or what? I don't know. <laughs> it's it's 25% off. It's pretty cool. Probably gonna retire soon if they have it on sale at Walmart. I'm doing it. Hey, actually I found the clearance aisle. So they do have some Star Wars, or sorry, <laughs> Lego stuff here. 39.86, is this on sale? Oops, oops, didn't mean to do that. I've always wanted this because it comes with awesome minifigures. Happy, Nick Fury, Mysterio, Spider-Man. Is this on sale? I'm gonna find out. Also, we got some Halo stuff down here and some Friends stuff. Uh, one Ninjago set that I, I truly don't think is a, is a good deal. 165 pieces for 40 bucks. Not really my, my cup of tea. It's got some cool minifigs in it. Not quite as cool as this guy though for 14 bucks. I'm gonna find out if this set's on sale because that's actually some really cool mini fakes in there. It's regular $90 here in Canada and it's on sale for 70, so approximately 25% off. I've actually eyed this one up quite a few different times. I believe it is a retired product now. Those mini figures look awesome. A little bit of box wear, but I'd be looking just to have the ship on the shelves beside the Quinjet or something like that. I don't think I'm going to see it for this price again, so I am going to get it. Upgrade myself to a little basket here. Perfect. Now let's get the heck out of here ASAP. Well, holy cow. Like I said, Walmart hit and miss. Save 25% on all that Lego. A couple awesome Star Wars sets that I know are going to be like replacing the Junior lineup right away with some great minifigures. Also an amazing Spider-Man set that I've been looking at for so long. If you look at some of my uh, older videos, you'll see me eyeing that up like crazy. And saw it 25% off, I had to act. Now or never, it's retired. I'm not, I'm not gonna see it around for very much longer. And that's a guarantee, everybody. Let's head home and assess our haul. So we made it home safely from our haul here and I'm actually just getting ready to go live. We're building a Legoland set. Oh, I should show you this Legoland set. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I, I can't wait to integrate this into the amusement park. It, it comes with a bunch of fantastic stuff. Speaking of fantastic stuff, I think we did pretty well today on our shopping excursion. We also dropped something off at the post office, which is one BrickLink order, and we also uh, did a local pickup for a local fan who was another, well, that was another BrickLink order. So it's pretty awesome. And now we've got some pretty cool stuff that we're going to build and use for custom buildings as we move forward. It all started off at the Lego store. We got three base plates. We also got two pick-a-brick cups, mainly one by six dark stone gray plates and also some one by ones in dark stone and also one by twos in tan and then some fence elements as our extra scoop and also some one by two as our extra scoop as well. These three base plates are gonna pair up with the six that we got the other night. And those are gonna go over here, just right below Big Ben there, even though that's not the actual home for Big Ben. And we're gonna put a pool of water there with a lazy river and also Pirates of Barracuda Bay. Then we went to uh, a Toys R Us. There was nothing there and the chapters had nothing either, but Mastermind Toys had an ATST walker. And I think those are gonna do quite well over time. Luckily for us, we had uh, the Mini Cooper set. This is the longest name in LEGO history. 1967 Mini Cooper S Rally and 2018 Mini John Cooper Works Buggy. <sighs> okay, uh, yeah, so that's a really long name, but uh, this is the last Speed Champ set uh, that's on the market right now that I currently don't have. I know that there's going to be more Speed Champion sets coming out here in 2021. So some of the older ones that are currently on the market, the older six wide ones are probably going to be retired relatively soon. I don't know if you guys don't have them, I suggest them. They're really good uh, sets and I really do like them. I don't think the ones from 2020 are going to go, but the ones from 2019 will go uh, once the 2021s come out. Also, when we went to uh, Toys, sorry, Walmart, we saved 25% on these sets here. We got uh, two of the X-Wing uh, Starfighter Trench Run, where you get the three fantastic minifigures, and also this set here, which I've been eyeing up for quite some time. Originally $90 on sale for $60, I think it was. And that's got Mysterio, Nick Fury, Happy Hogan, and Spider-Man minifigures. That Mysterio minifigure is pretty awesome. And that Stark Jet 
is pretty amazing as well. So I'm pretty excited about the haul that we got today. Uh, I'm glad that you guys were able to stop by on this shopping adventure with me. If you guys like it, remember to like that, smash the like, and also subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming by and have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye for now.